Hello guys, if you are looking to do real-time object detection with large language models, then this YOLO version 9 is one of the best models I have seen for this use case. It's a real-time object detection model that has already surpassed all convolution and transformer-based models. When I say convolutional-based model, what it means is that it's a special type of neural network or LLM or model or simply a software that is used for understanding images. It works by breaking down the picture into small pieces and looking for patterns in each piece like edges or shapes. These patterns help the model recognize objects in the image. The model learns to do this by repeatedly adjusting its settings based on examples it's given, getting better at recognizing objects over time. So convolutional model or CNNs are really good at taste a task like figuring out what's in a picture like whether it's a cat or a dog because they can understand the feature that make up different objects and that is how this model is has already surpassed the CNNs by exactly detecting the objects within a image. In this video I'm not going I'm not only going to explain to you what exactly this YOLO V9 is, but also we'll be doing an installation of it by using Colab. Okay, now coming back to this model, the problem what this model is trying to solve is that current deep learning mod models and methods lose critical information during data processing, leading to suboptimal model predictions. And the reason why this happens is because we don't have much information and then the architecture, normally the transformer one, sometimes struggle and fail to preserve data through layer transformation and that is where inaccuracy and in factual information comes through. That is where this model shines. The researchers behind these models have also given detail as how they created this model. So they have developed this something called as PGI to maintain complete input data information, ensuring accurate gradient updates for weight optimization. They then designed GALAN or G-E-L-A-N. GALAN is um, a lightweight architecture that utilizes gradient path planning for efficient information flow. Together, these innovations address data loss and optimize network performance. Now, I have used two terms. One is gradient and the other one is weight. Let me explain in very simple words what exactly is a gradient and a weight in this LLM. Gradient means that it's a measure of how much the model's prediction need to change to minimize error during training. And a weight represents the strength of the connection between neurons determining the impact of input data on the model's output. Now, once we have this clear, so this is where it has improved both of gradient path planning and also the weights. YOLO V9 has leveraged PGI and GALEN and it has already demonstrated remarkable improvements on the MS COCO dataset showcasing enhanced parameter utilization and outperforming existing models. It has also achieved better accuracy with lower computational resources and I'll be showing you that you can even install it and run it on Google Colab's free T4 GPU. You can use the same instruction to get it installed on any Linux system. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to clone the repo. And this is a GitHub repo which they have provided. All you need to do is to go up, click on this green button and then grab this URL. Once you have this URL, go to your Google Colab, let me go there and then simply paste this to clone the repo and then we will be seeding to that directory. So let's wait, okay, so connect with GPU. Okay, I'm not, okay, let me try to connect with GPU again, change random type, save. And now let's run it. So you can see that there is a huge load on the GPU. Let me maybe refresh my browser and see if it works. So it's not letting me connect to 
uh, GPU so I have just started with CPU I'm not sure if it will work with CPU but let's try out now next thing I'm just going to go and specify the home directory or current work working directory should be easy and now let's install some of the requirements and this is simply our familiar pip install requirement.txt and also supervision hopefully it will work I'm a bit skeptical about the GPU thing but let's see there you go so it is installing supervision dash q which is great that is done L now let's download couple of images I'm just downloading this um, they provided image from here and then we can also upload another page image but we'll do it later and let's also create a directory to download model weights that is done and let's use wget to put the model weights in this new directory shouldn't take too long okay now that is done now let's define a function which will use torch library process detection and lot of other things and this function has been provided by the researcher so i'm just going to use their code let's run it to implement it that is that is just going to create the function that is done now let's put our mat plot lip so that it will be able to detect the image here that's done now let's do the inference so I'm just asking it to detect the objects in this image which we have just loaded okay what it is saying I think it is just complaining about there you go so it is asking us to put the uh, GPU here so let me try again to see if the usage limits have been lifted so I have upgraded to this another notebook in AWS SageMaker and now you can see that it is running it has it was able to detect my t4 and there you go so this is the test image which it has produced and it has very successfully detected the objects in this image now let me upload another image and try out with it so i have just click on this left hand side on this upload button and then from there i have uploaded this beach.png and i have given the path to this beach.png let me run it so it is fusing the layer that detected the GPU and it has given me the error. Okay, so I think it is still the GPU stuff anyway, but at least we were able to run it with one um, image. So you can see that it has successfully detected it and I'm not going to upgrade it again. But anyway, if you have the credits to use these GPUs, then feel free to try it out on as many images as possible. And of course, not only you can change, all you need to do is to change the path of this image here. And as I showed you earlier, there are various models in this YOLO V9. And you can change your um, model weights here as per different YOLO model. And let me quickly show you the different models here. So there you go. So you can see that they have these variants in different sizes, which you can use and it has given the parameters and all that information on this github repo also if you want to do the local installation you can use docker and then but make sure that you have a good gpu on that one and from there you need to do install all of these packages and then go from there i haven't tried it out so try it out let me know how it goes if you want to and i might do an installation video on my ubuntu but I will see because I think it would require a bit of a beefy GPU which I don't have access to for now anyway so that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on YOLO I think one of the best models out there in terms of object detection very accurate very clear and quite understandable too if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a personal favor and share the channel among your network as that helps a lot. Thanks for watching.